Hey everybody, it is Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. Tonight I am making homemade chicken nuggets for supper and I wanted to share my recipe with you guys. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my chicken out of the fridge. I picked that up the other day at the um, butcher and I'm going to get that cleaned up, rinsed off, and I'm gonna cut it up into like one inch chunks, um, one inch squares or close to it. So one tip straight out the gate is to cut your chicken with scissors. Yeah, I know it sounds pretty crazy, but that's actually how I cut my chicken up. I am known for cutting myself, like cutting myself so bad I pass out cutting myself. I don't know why it looks like I have a black eye. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to get the chicken cut up and um, then I will show you what I do from there. So all I've done is cut up my chicken. I cleaned off any fatty parts. I use my scissors to clean it and then I just chop them up into nugget size portions, maybe a little bit bigger than an inch, um, an inch, but that's much bigger <laughs> than an inch, but I don't mind them a little bit bigger. I find that whenever I keep them bigger, then they stay on the juicier side. So I like my nuggets a little bit bigger. Now from here, all I'm going to do is season them really well. I'm probably gonna use like a tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt and probably like a quarter table or a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, fresh ground black pepper, and probably like a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to season my chicken really, really well. And I'm also going to add in probably about a cup of Hellman's mayonnaise. Um, I recommend actual mayonnaise, not like Miracle Whip or anything like that. I recommend this. And I'm gonna add a cup of that into my chicken and I'm gonna stir it up really, really well. All right, so just to recap what I've done, and my cleaned chicken in here, it's all cut up, like nugget size. I added about a tablespoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then I added in about a cup of mayo. Might be a little bit more than a cup, that's okay. Um, now all I'm gonna do is mix this all together. There it is, all mixed up. So from here, I'm just going to put this in my fridge. I am not ready to cook supper. It's only like 2.30, so I'm gonna let this hang out in the fridge. You could do this the day ahead and like prepare it the night before if you have to work all day. Prepare this the night before and let it hang out in the bowl. And um, then the next day when you're ready to cook supper, this part is already done for you. And I really recommend make a lot more than what you think you're gonna need because these are awesome leftover. I eat them cold straight out of the fridge. Um, they're delicious. As of right now, we only have our mayo, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and our chicken. That's what, five ingredients? <laughs> five ingredients. And we only have one other ingredient to use. That's gonna be some Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Um, six ingredient meal, basically. The only other thing I'm gonna serve with dinner is a side salad, so easy peasy. I will show you what this looks like when it comes out of the fridge and um, I'll show you how I go about breading them and then how I bake them, so stay tuned. I just pulled my chicken out of the fridge. There it is. It's been hanging out in there for about an hour and a half. I have my oven preheating to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. What I do from here is I take some Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. It can be any brand that you want. And I put about two cups down into a separate bowl. Then I take two nuggets at a time, basically, maybe three, depends on the size. And I toss them all in the bowl with breadcrumbs until the chicken nuggets are coated all the way around. So I don't like rinse these at this point. That mayo is going to help our breadcrumbs stick. My meat is already seasoned with salt and pepper and garlic powder. I really don't have to do anything else at this point other than toss them in Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. From there, I lay them out on my parchment lined, my unbleached parchment papered um, cookie sheets in a single layer 
with gaps around them so they are not touching. From there, I'm gonna bake them in the oven. So I have all of my nuggets out on cookie sheets covered with unbleached parchment paper. I used tongs to toss everything. I had just a little bit of breadcrumbs left. I used about two cups of the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. So from here, I'm going to pop these in the oven 200 or 425 degrees for probably like 20 minutes. And then I'm probably gonna turn them over and bake them a little bit longer. That just helps them get browned all the way around. I'm gonna serve it with a side salad. And then in this pot, I'm gonna heat this up. I have probably um, a cup of a Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and a quarter cup of Frank's Red Hot. It just makes like a spicy barbecue. It's really, really good to dip your nuggets in. So I will update you when those come out of the oven. I just pulled these out of the 425 degree Fahrenheit oven. They've been in for about 17 minutes. You can see that they're starting to get golden brown. I'm going to flip them over and then I'm going to put them back in the oven for probably another 10 minutes. I just pulled the nuggets out of the oven. I split one just to make sure that they were indeed cooked through, which I can tell by looking at them that they are, but you just want to double check. I always pick the fattest one and cut it in half and just make sure there's no pink on the inside. We have our sauce back here. I heated it up. I just stirred it with a fork. It's just a cup of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and a quarter cup of Frank's Red Hot. There we have it. Chicken nuggets. That's what's for dinner.